I'm not joking, 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 What's up, Sunners? Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Um, Sana, I look so crusty and stuff. I am straight from church. It's a Sunday today. I just came back from church, Sana, and I feel blessed. I am happy. I have seen God today, son. Kibwani mudin, kibwani matla amudin today. So I'm just so happy. I'm here to testify to you guys. Um, unfortunately, I won't tell you the exact testimony, hurry. What is what? What is not? But I want to tell you guys that this year I dedicated my life to the house of the Lord. I wanted to say, I told myself that I shall dwell in the house of the Lord today. Meaning that I'll go to church constantly. Like I'll go to church constantly and unless if maybe I can't. But every chance that I get, I told myself that this year I can go to church no matter what. So last year and other previous years I was going to church, like just going to church. You know? But this year, I remember... On the 31st, I was at church. I did a crossover at church. I prayed and I told God that, God, I give you my word. This year, I shall dwell in your house. I shall dwell in your temple. In everything. It's Whether I'm, I'm having any trouble or I'm okay or I feel like I just want to go to church and praise. One thing about me, Sanas, I know, I think like there's a previous video that I've posted where I was talking about God. I have mentioned how I love God praising and worshiping the lord whether i'm at my place or um wherever or i'm at church i just enjoy praising the lord you know there's so many ways to send, submit prayer to god you can submit prayer to god by crying you can submit to, to uh, you can submit prayer to god by by praying and first you can submit prayer to god by praising and worshiping him oh my god i am cooking up and vlogging at the same time imagine and why it's papa hey fia yeah fia so there's a lot of ways sana to um praise and worship god uh, i'm so hungry okay i'm not winning i'm not winning at all at all i'm not winning at all okay let me put it here can you guys see me? Will you guys be able to see me? Got it. Wow. Got it. Okay. So now I am cooking here, man. So I had to come and check the pots. Get me a hobby and I need to go home with my family. Okay. As I was saying, I'm sorry, guys, that I have to continue with that thingy. Um, as I was saying, Sana, um, I prefer, I mean, not that I prefer, uh, I love to submit prayer to God, also with praising and worship. So, this year I told myself, I told God that God, I shall dwell in your house. Whether I'm here, I'm there to testify, whether I'm there to cry, give you praise and worship, or to thank you, or to ask you something, I shall come and dwell in the house of the Lord this year. Yeah? So, uh, I've been dwelling since I want to tell you about something. I want to this year, I've been in the house of God. Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm back. 
okay? I'm back. So as I was saying, Tana, that I told myself that this year I am submitting my all my life to the Lord this year. Like I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Yeah? So today I went to church, Sana, and something miracle miraculously. Miraculously, no? Something miraculously happened to me. Let me tell you something. I believe in the God of signs and wonders. I believe in the God of miracles. I believe in the God that turns impossibilities to possibilities. I believe in the God that turns things around. I believe in the God that changes things just like that. That is my God. That is my boss. So today a miracle happens, Anna, and um, I gave a testimony in church. I don't know, want you guys to know specifically what it is. As much as I'm a YouTuber, as much as I'm a content creator, I, uh, I'd like to keep some of my things private. I'd like to keep some of my things private. Um, yeah, for the sake, for the sake of peace and for the sake of preservation upon my life. Ne? And yeah, so I gave a testimony to something miraculously happened to me, and I'm so grateful. I thank the Lord. So now, my life can never function. My life can never make sense without God. Like, I don't wanna lie. I am who I am. But I am who I am because of God. That's one thing I can tell you. I am. I belong to God forever. Oh God, I belong to you, Lord like God. I am yours, Sana. So um, I just wanted to give you guys this testimony, even though I'm not being specific about it. But I just wanna thank God in front of all of my sons on YouTube. I want to thank God but I thank you I thank you for giving me patience you know I believe in praying here right do you know the word hierarchy level one level two level three that is hierarchy I believe in praying using hierarchy for example first of all I prayed for patient because I know that God Shem, he works at his own time. He answers at his own time. And his time is perfect and his time is always the right time. So I firstly I asked him, like I've been praying for a certain thing for for, for, for so long. And I asked God to help me to be patient. Yeah? Trust in him and have faith in him and never shy away from him. And never doubt him. Because he's in because as long as you pray, as long as you're asking him, as long as you're constantly praying for that thing, trust that it's in process. God is in process with it, but you just need to be patient. Huh? So I pray for patient that God help me to be patient with this specific thing. Okay? That's level one. Uh, uh, level two, I pray that God help me to not lose faith and hope in you. Not lose faith in you and to not lose hope in what I'm praying for. No matter how long it's going to take, help me. Give me the strength and wisdom and faith to continue praying for that certain thing until something happens. Thirdly, that's when I told the level, the, the third level, that's when I told him, what is it? Yeah? Oh, Jesus Christ. No matter how much God, sometimes I step back, you always pull me back to you. You always pull me back into your temple you always make a way we only have three months in 2024 in january i pray that god i want to dwell in your house somewhere in january and february like step back from god from praying from going to church i experienced a setback because of situation that happened in my life yeah? but one thing about god he always sends his people or something will happen something will just happen that will draw me back into him. He always draws me back into him, into his house, into his presence. He always draws me back. No matter how much I step back, he always, guys, like he pulls me every time. Like I can have a two, three week setback without praying as much as, as powerful as I used to pray. He will somehow, 
use someone something and he will draw, draw me back into him and that's one thing i love about god he never wanna loses me he knows that i need him and he also needs me in his life he needs me to be close to him and son i can never lose god let me tell you i think that is that is the powerful bond that i have with god as much as i can shy away he always draws me back as much as some day i feel like ah man lose hope lose that power lose that strength he will give me that strength back he will draw me back somehow somehow I'll always come back to him so um I think end of January. Then something happened. God drew me back to him as always, and I thank him for that. And when he draws me back, can there be something that he knows that is about to do for me? Mara una, it's in the Satan. I wanna forget about him. Like he knew, he knew that Toriso in two weeks is your season of answered prayers. In two weeks is the season of answered prayers. I need you back. And I went back to. something happened. by this time if that thing if God didn't draw me back to him I don't think I'll experience what I'm experiencing right I don't think I'll experience this because I'll be distracted by whatever the devil's work or whatever the world's things or whatever so son I just want to think about this I'm shooting this to be an encouragement to you because Sana please I don't mind I don't mind doing the the God God's work I don't mind to say a word of encouragement or do something of encouragement to for God to receive his children once again his lost children once again so if ever this video is encouraging someone even though it's one is the one it's one person to go back to God please have done the lot the lot the lot's job and I'm happy with that so I'm actually shooting this video to just thank God in front of you guys to thank God publicly and to encourage somebody out there like Aratuan guys Aratuan some of us our this thing is our angels they are in the house of the Lord I won't lie nah I'm not trust me I can never disrespect other people's beliefs ever I can never do that I am saying they're in the house of the Lord that's where I'll find my peace my happiness my blessings my breakthrough my destiny that is where I can find everything that I'm praying for and then I shall dwell in the house of the Lord so I just want to thank the Lord guys I'm so happy whoever is out there and you know that how you know there are people who say hey, I'd rather pray to God and not go to church yes I understand because of most of you who have been scammed in the house of the Lord most of you have seen things in the house of the Lord things that they not, they're not they do not align with God that you know the God of the, the of the Bible that we know so you have seen things and you told yourself that you'll never go back to church I know some of you experienced that I also have experienced churches pastors who are fake but I have never given up on church I've never given up on the Lord I am still remaining look for a church that search like Sana hunt search for a church if you know that your angels are a church hunt and search for a church that is in alignment with your spirit search and hunt for a church that is in alignment with your spirit Go to a church and listen to your heart, listen to your soul, listen to your spirit, what does it say? If you are happy with that church, then you're home. If you are happy with that church, then you are home. But I just want to encourage everybody out there that I understand that you have went to different churches and then you've been betrayed, you have been backstabbed, you have seen crazy things at churches that made you think that all churches maybe are the same, people are scammers, that's not true. Even the Bible said, the Lord said in the Bible that he has few of his genuine churches. He has few of his genuine um, pastors and apostles and prophets. Ne? They are there. They are there. I will never tell you to come to my church. Like, how can I say this in a respectful way? I will never force anyone to join my church. 
Now the church that I go with has been that I go to, I don't want to say it. It has been charged. It has been like oh, there's a lot, but I still remain in the church because this church it aligns with my spirit. It aligns with my life. I I experience breakthroughs. I experience blessings. I experience being close with God, praying. My prayer life is at another level. My spiritual growth is growing when I'm in this church. So this is the church that I shall remain in. Ne? So I would never tell somebody to come join my church. I can invite you if you want to. I can invite you and then when I will go, I can go to the church and go to the church. Then you'll see it for yourself. And then after it's your decision, what do you want to do? I'll never convince anyone to join my church because tomorrow, if something happens, you'll blame me. Or something good happens, you see. But as people, we are different. We belong to different churches. We belong to different, you see. So to invite some of my friends, I will invite you to church. Come to church with me. And when you get there, you just pray and just feel whatever that you feel. And then after, you'll decide if you want to join my church or you want to go to other church. But I will encourage, sorry, those people who have experienced, sorry, scary things, bad things at churches that it made you, take a decision to not go to church anymore please please don't please don't hate on church please don't hate on god just pray that god sends you to the right church that will align with you with your life and with your spirit that's it go hunt for your church as much as we go and hunt for jobs as much as go apply for jobs register for things hunt for things go and hunt for a church son dwell in the house of the lord because one thing about the house of the lord it will always encourage you to be close to god we experience many things in our lives to the point that sometimes sometimes we have a step back, step back with, uh, with with having an encounter with God we, we experience setbacks we experience setbacks in spiritual life in our spiritual growth in relationship with God we experience setbacks because of the things that we experience in life so going to church always in, always draws you back to God like it gives you that that strength it gives you that power it gives you that hope that faith it, it restores your faith it restores your hope in God okay? So I would always advise people to go to church. Just pray to God. You know that it's good for my soul. And God will direct you to that church. That's my son. But otherwise, dwell in the house of the Lord. And you shall see the goodness of God. I'm so happy and I thank God and I thank my mom. I thank my mom because she's the one. I'm what I am now because of my mom and because of God. I love God now because of my mom. So, mommy, I know you're watching this. You're my biggest fan on YouTube. Thank you so much for being this type of mom you are. Thank you so much for taking me to church, holding my hand, and raising me under the house of the Lord. Thank you so much for teaching me God, for teaching me the Bible, the Holy Spirit, the God's way. Thank you so much. I am so in love with this life of living with God. Thank you so much, Mama. I will forever love you and I appreciate you. And kya ulabu ha mama for urhudi sitse ka mtsa sakre ke ya modimo urhudi sitse ka mhara ntlo ya modimo urhudi sitse ka libitso la modimo kya ulabu ha mama for you taught me god now i know him because of your teaching because of you directed me to the right path in my life and now i'm experiencing victory i'm experiencing the grace of god because of when mama because of your teachings and i shall take what you have taught me and and share it with my children and my grandchildren so that this generation that you have created for us mama to grow for teaching me the way of god thank you so much as for my sanas i hope this video encourages you um i thank god i'm always i always praise and worship and thank god and i shall always dwell in that so yeah thank you guys um I'm just so happy and God is good all the time. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Those who trust in the in the Lord always experience good things. So I thank you Lord and I thank my mom and I thank you guys.